Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm the Mysterious JG. Took a very short break between uh, videos. Cycle through some laundry. You know, get a, get a drink. Um, and two thoughts about aliens occurred. Because we are, of course, in the middle of battling with aliens. The evil alien collectors. But two thoughts about aliens popped into my mind. I wanted to share them before I had a chance to forget. First, anybody notice that Kofi Kingston's trunks, the back appears to have a picture that's like a weird combination of a sort of cartoon character Rasta Farian and the big-eyed aliens I forget there's there's a name for them grays I think they're called in the UFO community uh, protots are based on that design a lot of aliens and movies are based on the gray which is the, the sort of blank face with big eyes but uh, yeah Kofi Kingston said uh, wrestling trunks appear to have like some kind of Jamaican from outer space on them uh, the other thing I thought about in terms of aliens was Goldra so yeah, those two thoughts were both in my head, and I wanted to share them with you before I forgot. In the meantime, though, we're uh, in combat with the evil collectors. And uh, Jack had a really poor showing in our first bout, but those she seems to be doing like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. a lot better here. Shit. So the elusive man was right. The collectors answer to the Reapers. Second guessing having brought Jack on this mission. There's a lot of plot going to be dropped, and she's not one of the characters whose reaction to plot events is really going to make a lot of sense. I mean, she's not really all that glued into the plot. She's basically because you freed her from that prison. She she feels like she owes it to you to accompany you on this one mission. But that's it. But I guess she's tracking uh, to some extent. She knows what's going on because she's picked up. She knows what Reapers are, and she's picked up the fact that the collectors answer to the Reapers. So, more purple stuff. Are we ever going to find Sunny D? I am going to want to save frequently around here because it's kind of hard to tell what direction... This happens on all the levels, but it's particularly bad, I remember here. You can't tell what building, if I go inside, is going to be where I can loot, and what building, when I go inside, is going to lead me to plot stuff that I can't back up anymore. Heavy skin weave. But yeah, if I had the dominate skill, which I have, I didn't give Shepard because I just, I thought it was silly and out of character, but if I used that instead of the silly inferno grenades, it's, it's AI hacking on biologicals. And against collectors, the battles become interminable because it's the same silliness as with those robots. I just spend the whole time just making one of the collectors turn against the others and they just beat on each other for a bit. Looks half human. Guess we know what happened to the colonists. No. The Geth impaled their victims on giant spikes to turn them into husks. But we haven't seen any. The collectors must have already had the husks. They want the colonists alive for something else. Living victims, that's pretty grim. I was hoping they would be murdered before now. The collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Well, do, am I supposed to know? Worse than what Cerberus did hey, to me. I was asking Garrus. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced, evolved. How do you figure? They still die when you shoot them. Jack, I am consistently looking at Garrus when I'm talking. Why are you answering? The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Whatever you say, boss man. N no one is going to be just another victim. Just another victim, but a stink face, Jaya. She called me boss man, I like that. It kinda gets me going. All these empty buildings. It's unsettling. I wonder if she calls you boss man if you're Femme Shepherd. No fair, I had it. I wanna, while we've, we've got the advantage of surprise here, I wanna take at least one. It'd be nice if I had line of sight on something more powerful than this thing, but other guys are gonna fly in. No, no, they're gonna walk in. Just another victim. What a stink face, JR. 
damn it. Oh, now it's Garrus is trying to die immediately. Nice job of the biotic. Freezing it. So the collectors may be some kind of bizarre super race that we don't know anything about, but they still use guns with the same thermal clips that we use. isn't back, so there has to be another one someplace. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Did they blow your head off? Oh, it's just in shadow. Okay. <laughs> These things are gross. Jack, good luck fighting those uh, horrible monsters. I'm gonna... Play around with the safe here. Copyright logo, eyeball, eyeball. Got plenty of cash. Too bad most of the things you need to buy in this game you buy with minerals. A decorative corpse. You are not an enemy. Okay, that was the last one because Garrus is alive again. Yeah, before this is over, we're going to have some ugly fights against these guys. We haven't seen all the unit types in this particular enemy force. There's, they got some heavies that are a lot more threatening than what we've been fighting. Okay, so looking around carefully for loots. Lyres and other musical instruments of ancient times. back up to six meta gel because again I keep thinking you just get that stuff replenished when you end a mission but no apparently you have to go manually do that another reason I never like using meta gel I don't know if lethal is watching this LP he watched some of Mass Effect and was seemed to be a little bit irked that I was apparently going for a no meta gel run but yeah, it's this game in Mass Effect 3 that, that sort of sent me down that road. Let's examine the stasis columnist. They've been like this a long time. Let's kill him for fun. Again, don't know which way is going to lead to plot and which way is going to lead to loot. there. This 
See, all of this uh, background detail and color, and we have this, like, kind of neat tower apartment where somebody has a, a little monitor on their bed, and they programmed all of this in, and what is it housing? Just a couple of credits. A lot of attention to detail uh, in this game for stuff that you don't really end up paying that much attention to yourself as a player. Just kind of wandering through looking for loots. Collector particle, particle beam acquired. The following squad members are now able to use this weapon. Shepard. Collector particle beam weapons are strangely crafted. Uh, the collector's particle yeah. beam weapon is strangely crafted, possessing few moving parts, lacking any obvious means for disassembly, and containing organic parts. The amount of energy required to create a destructive beam is several orders of magnitude more than the energy required to launch a physical projectile at high velocity via a mass effect field. Lacking any clear ammunition or fuel source, the device likely uses heat sinks or compensators uh -huh. to maintain firing during sustained combat. Current Cerberus efforts to understand the technology and replicate it have failed. Failure, failure, missed. failure, failure. Stupid cookie failure. Do 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 he's a failure. comes a failure. All right. I think this is where they're going to introduce the game mechanic of this guy taking over dudes. Yep. I am assuming direct control. Collect the camera. Using the sniper rifle, I thought I was using the crazy collector, whatever. That one hit. I can't seem to find cover either. With oh, I'm stuck on something. We run into some kind of super monster later. You never know when you might run into a super monster, folks. Check over here, see if these guys dropped any loots. Not loot so much as just ammo, but. That is probably a uh, plot door. Then again, if you have to hacksaw it to get through, it might be a treasure door. Yeah, this is probably a treasure door then. Use a bunch of out of character, really renegade stuff to say. Company, get Let's out go, 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 move, now. move, move, because I'm gonna have to load. 
go search other places. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You lead them right here. Pistol weapon, Shepard. I cleared a path. You're lucky you're not in the hold of a collector ship right now. I always wanted to see one of those. You mean the real? He's the human version of that Turian redneck. You know, so he's a redneck. To keep us in Alliance space. No. Oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Stead, too. They, oh they no, the monkey everybody. from Breath of Fire too? I need to know what I'm up against. Tell me everything you remember. We lost our comm signals a few hours ago. Yeah. I came down to check on the main grid. And I heard screaming. I heard the screaming. Yeah. Outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Are you fucking kidding me? We'll skip the investigate defense, stuff. We can use them again. You need to calibrate One the of us should be able to figure it out. For the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. It's pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. You're just gonna let the collectors take your friends? I'm a mechanic. What am I supposed to do? Whack him with my wrench? Over I'm here. Lock, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna. So yeah, we're gonna we have to load now. Well, let me shoot him in cold blood. Armor isn't just stylish, but it is stylish, so, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so, um, yeah, I think, so I think we got more, more loots over here. Possible there's nothing over here and we should have just gone with that, but Ah, see we got power cells. Plus 115 heavy weapons ammo. I'm assuming they're talking, yeah, about the collector thing and not my Oh, it changed my loadout. It didn't even it didn't even give me the option of sticking with my black whatever singularity projector. I can switch to it if I want to though. Okay, so the heavy weapon ammo is what we missed by... Oh, well. Still, I like to be thorough. I mean, for all I knew, there was going to be, like, really important permanent weapons upgrades over there. Okay. change our weapon loadout in here so I can get the black storm back if I want to. Although it seemed like it, that collector's gun was pretty dang useful. Company. Let's get go, go, go. Move, now. move, move. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? I thought you were you humanoid. Right here. You had to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. Yeah, but you're kind of dumb. No. They got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. I didn't mind them getting Sten. He's irritating. What's your name? What do you do here? Who's your daddy? He's the land. Mechanic. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. And that got me kind of excited, so. Swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Ash? Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief and Williams. Saren. I heard she was some kind of hero or something. They don't trust that, though. Up. Would rather she just stayed back in council space. Kind of jerk. Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? 
Supposed to be helping us get Fisherman's Horizon? Yeah, she fled. Uh, she used to run a garden, and then she stole all the kids' cards, and... She's so ashamed. I'm thinking Final Fantasy VIII, actually. No, there's something else going on with her. Tell me about the Colony Defense Towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Guardian. keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. <laughs> Sometimes Shepard has an unusually blank look, even for him. They, he just this guy just slammed the alliance with Shepard used to be part of and presumably has good feelings about. Although I mean it is like a kind of big bureaucracy military thing to have this huge weapon that doesn't work. But no, he just kind of stares at him, blinks periodically. Why do you think this is the alliance's fault? Because I'm just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. <laughs> I don't need their to help. help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers online, but mark my words, there's more to it. Yeah, I'm not going to go with this because it might be evil uh, renegade dialogue. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector's ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system The first. targeting Instead system is there. One of us should be able to figure it out. We just need the location. Jack it looks like she's an expert on calibrating targeting systems. Hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Jack. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Over here. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. Black Storm, colloquially called the Black Hole Gun, a case of particles of matter with a high-powered mass-increasing field, elevating the near-infinite mass, this creates gravitational singularity that draws nearby enemies and objects in for a short time. The rapidly increasing gravity of the singularity is the event horizon, rips the objects apart, the mass effect field soon destabilizes and returns to normal mass of explosive results. Let's see how many shots I've got of this. Five. Cerberus Xenobiologist something. The Collector General. Cerberus Xenobiologists believe until recently that the Collectors were coordinated by a biotically active caste, similar to other insectoid alien species. No evidence suggests Collectors have a singular commander, a so-called Collector General, that has never been seen on the battlefield. Instead, it selects minions as remote platforms for its consciousness in a process that has been likened to a biological hack or cybernetic version of demonic possession. <laughs> Weird. The Collector General can set a secure signal to any one of its minions, smoothly taking control of their motor functions and awaken their previously dormant biotic potential. In a matter of seconds, even the lowliest Collector Drone can be upgraded to a battle-hardened biotic commander. If the Collector dies, the General can simply activate and control another body. Post-mortem analysis reveals that this command signal relies on cybernetic implants directly installed in the Collector's cerebellums, and, but how the technology functions is presently unknown. Coordinating sensory input and motor functions simultaneously with Remotely amplified robotic abilities is beyond the grasp of current human science. Why such advanced species would be interested in humans is puzzling. More disturbing, still victims of the Collector say the General has spoken to them and referred to itself by a human name, Harbinger. Yeah, he's kind of a weirdo. Ah, and we can now afford shotgun damage. We can now afford shotgun Saturday night. Oh, you just get credits. You don't get experience, which would be probably more valuable. Oh, it wasn't locked. Like, you don't mind if we steal your stuff, do you there, mechanic guy?
I feel like if I step far enough forward, it's just going to trigger guys appearing. And it's not actually going to let me Heads sneak up. up. Yep. Yeah. Where are they coming from? Why are you shouting heads up, Garrus? Oh, that's why you're shouting heads up. Control over somebody. I'm so sexy, you can't resist my charms, Shepard. Wait, I don't have an ammo power going? Why don't I have an ammo power going? Oh, because I, because I switched my uh, gun layout. of shot ready. Scion, eh? Scions, like, though the exact fate of species captured by the collectors is couldn't read it fast enough. Apparently the sign. Ah, what the hell? I'm in a uh, reading mood, it seems like. Husks, or we know what they are from last time. Dragon's teeth and the husks. Though the exact fate of species captured by collectors is unclear, the human appearance of the Scions give ghastly clues. The science brain and skull are similar to those of a human or a sari. The bone structure is overlaid with metallic resin. Posthumous examination of bodies because the skin tone. Similarly, that of reaper husks, but the transformation process seems more extensive. Like husks, they're subnetically modified on a nanoscale so they can hold oh, nanomachines. Operate even in hard vacuum. Hoses rather than veins and muscle tissues to a major portion of the body together. One arm is replaced with a construct that fits a large rifle. Turning the creature into a humanoid weapon platform. And a fleshy sack is supported by the creature's back and head. These sacks contain brain matter and spinal tissue. Too much to have come from just one victim. This indicates signs are an amalgam of several individuals, with one primary victim providing the frame and several secondaries providing the flesh for the decentralized semi-mechanical nervous system. This decentralization makes them highly resistant to gunshot wounds. Even a headshot is not a certain kill. Signs weapons, however, indicate the science retain some living tissue or at least sustain some of the same electrochemical reactions as those of a human biotic. The weapon creates a powerful warp effect, which is consistent with the ESO nodules visible in the science expansive nervous system. Given the rarity of human biotics, it seems likely that these dust form ESO nodules are deposited during their transformation rather than acquiring a biotic victim in the first place. In other words, there's some kind of like weird, ghastly Frankenstein monster with magical biotic powers and lovely. As ever, I'm extremely short on sniper rifle ammo, even though it's my primary weapon. Thanks, game designers. Again, I live in fear of accidentally advancing past loot and into plot. This might be useful. Biotic damage. Chance to use some of that Ezo that I've been collecting. Power cells. Power converters. And I have to go all the way to the other side of the world to get them. from one piece of cover to another. An exciting collecting power cells action. 100 credits. Power cells must be weapon. F they probably count as weapon for my heavy gun. 
which is maxed out. That's that's why I'm getting that tiny little credit bonus when I collect them. Well, we've hit the end of another video, folks. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of this mission. Um, Mass Effect 2 is made up of numerically many more missions than Mass Effect, but each mission is significantly significantly shorter. So I really don't think there's too much left to go in this one. Uh, when we come back, we are probably in the next video going to at least get to the plot conversations at the end of the Horizon mission. Possibly not. Either way, I hope you will join us next time. I'm the Mysterious JG, and I want to thank you for watching.